Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, this entire reading is for an Aquarius or the Aquarius or all of the Aquarius who are waiting, waiting for things to pay off, waiting for a payoff or a payout, waiting for their energy and their effort to be returned 100 fold, uh, a return on their investments. It could be uh, literally or figuratively. Um, the cards just say that you're in a place where it's not happening fast enough for you. So there's doubt. You could be doubting yourself. And for some of you, if you're not exactly waiting for this big payout, then this is ending one professional project and going to another. That could be going from employed to self-employed. That could be jumping from one career to another. Going from full-time work to retirement. But there's fear associated with going from one dynamic to the other. But Aquarius, the cards are saying you have nothing to fear. These are illusions that you have created for yourself. These fears, this holding back. This is uh, what keeps you trapped, stuck. And you feel trapped because of what the negative self-talk that you are telling yourself. Maybe that you are engaging in. Maybe when you bounce ideas off of another person, you get negativity. Aquarius, the cards want you to know, just move. Just make the move. You don't even have a lot of major arcana. You don't have any. Wow, you don't have any. So this is really all about you, Aquarius. The cards are saying that uh, a tough cycle, the end of a tough cycle, you know, approaches. So it's like you're right on the tail end of maybe getting this big harvest, what you've been manifesting, waiting for it, knowing that it's coming. Look how he waits at the shore. He waits because he already knows I put out that thing. I'm waiting for it to come back. I put out that energy. I'm waiting for it to come back. I put out those prayers. I'm waiting for things to manifest. I put out that manifestation work and I'm waiting for things to come back to me. What you need to do is let it be. Focus on a plan, having a plan, focus on negotiation. Right now, you do not control the, the time frame, but what you can control is your emotions and your, your mental thoughts. And what you can do uh, to calm this high anxiety is to make a plan about what will happen once you get, once you do, once you have, once you, whatever, because everybody's looking for something different. What will it look like? Write it out. Get a journal. Channel that energy. Because some of you are in a place of just total anxiety, mental unrest. And some of you just feel trapped or stuck. Somebody, you feel trapped or stuck maybe even with an energy. It could be a cancer. It could be a Piscean person. But... It's somebody here who just continuously thinks of you. They just, and so they keep you mentally stuck. They keep you in a place of thinking of maybe penetrating your energy and you thinking of them. So now you're thinking, okay, if I'm thinking of them, then they must be thinking of me. Then we must be meant to be. And then, you know, it's, it's a cycle. And the cards are saying this, the end of this tough cycle approaches. You need to understand that there's going to be some resolution here. Something that's going to resolve. You need to resolve the to the fact that maybe somebody is just going to always be in this energy. Maybe because they lied to themselves about how much they cared for you, how much they did really love you. Uh, they lied to themselves about their actions. They lied to you. This could even be guilt. Somebody's constantly in a, in a phase of guilt. The cards are also saying for some of you, your creativity is going to bring you stability. 
with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you could be hairdressers, you know, into cosmetology, beauty, fashion, or this is what you want to embark on. It says your creativity is going to bring you stability. Just keep at it. There will be a profit made. This is slow and steady. So maybe that's how your money is coming in, but it is steady, but it is slow. But it just says, keep at it because the day of, I heard the day of recompense. Okay. I heard the day of recompense is coming. It's here for you. There will be opportunity for things to move fast in your life with the eight of wands. Blockages will be removed. This you'll come into a more, a better state of, um, A better state of a uh, of existing, of uh... I'm getting like delays. This is also the law of attraction. Whatever you have been um, wanting to come into you is coming. Delays will be over, and, and so many things will be happening all at once. You have to, the five of swords came out in reverse. None of the cards should be in reverse, but this came out in reverse, the five of, which is a great thing. So those setbacks, because sometimes this can talk about interference and reversal not happening anymore. You won't go back to the same place, the same state of being, is the same mindset. Things are, are going to move forward very fast whatever you've been manifesting is coming into you stay in that high vibration because the eight of wands talks about law, law of attraction like attract attracts like right so if you are positive high vibing no, knowing that something is going to happen for you manifest for you then that's what's coming but if you are negative if you are stuck if you are fearing the worst then we know what will happen there it seems as if Aquarius, you got nothing but good cards and no majors. So this is, the universe really wants you to take this reading and understand it's all about you, your energy, your mindset. You've got some good news coming into you. It's been a tough uphill battle, maybe even a day-to-day -day struggle. You've been kind of on autopilot, maybe in terms of your work. You just don't know where things are going. You've kind of been despondent, but you've been showing up. You have been taken for granted, maybe in your work life, or you feel like you've taken things for granted, but a renewed sense of self is coming into you. Maybe a, a promotion, a new job, a new business venture. But this talks about doing what you want on your own terms. This even talks about again, fashion and beauty coming up. This talks about a large sum of money, talks of large sums of money coming to you. Your day in the shade your day of rest, vacation, of moving away from five of swords, because that's the six of swords, moving away from five of swords is coming, okay? Your day of, wow, power dynamic. Remember we talked about dynamic, going from one dynamic to the other, and it seems as if you're gonna go from waiting and begging and scrapping, and maybe you haven't been begging, but maybe you've just been waiting, waiting, waiting. You feel like you're waiting in vain. You feel like you're always just having enough or money comes in and it goes out. Things are, there's not a lot to save. There's not a lot to, there's not a surplus. There's not an abundance of, it seems as if the power dynamic is going to shift in your life and you're going to be the giver. You're going to be the one with the resources and maybe you'll give to other people who are less fortunate or in need, or maybe this is some type of business that you want to open up or share with other people where you are pouring back into, you are getting, you are cultivating something. Uh, there's harmony with how you make money, bring in money. This also talks about loans. So it looks like it'll, maybe you could be even waiting for somebody to repay you. Don't loan out any money because it, it might be sketchy in terms of getting it back. Aquarius, whatever's happening for you right now, it's gonna be cause to celebrate. Victory, triumph, success. You're gonna do something major, maybe purchase a home, something of that nature. There could be somebody wanting you back, also wanting to reconcile, wanting to communicate with you, communicate how they're feeling, what they're thinking. This is somebody maybe that you met in early childhood. 
maybe you'll get with siblings or neighbors or you'll be able to something about neighbors make move with the six of swords neighbors it just seems like a tough time in your life wow it's going to be over Aquarius I, I can't make it up a tough time in your life of maybe feeling indebted to or being in debt or not having enough or having scraps is over the ten of swords talks about the fullness of a thing it doesn't get any worse it could get better if you choose to come out of the ten of swords but it doesn't get any worse so this is the completion of uh, negativity low vibration not having enough being indebted to um being in the dark because these are dark cards so some of you feel like you were in the dark or you were in a dark place wow and then the sun comes out aquarius the cards just want you to know that the universe is really working something out on your behalf behind the scenes you're not gonna it's not gonna work on your timeline or how you thought it was going to sh show up or how you know your plan for it it's just more so about you resting in the energy of knowing that you've done the work focus on planning future um your future plans weighing the pros and the cons of maybe going into something starting something but definitely having a plan um it seems like all of a sudden somebody who you weren't giving attention to they want to give attention to you be weary of this because um i don't know this might look good some of you you all of a sudden you might meet somebody new maybe in the spring this person you could marry yeah this is a very dynamic person this is a person who's could be set in their ways but their ways have been tested and been tried and they've been true. This is somebody who's looking for a wife or a husband. You can meet someone new. Um, it's like a surprise, maybe even a gift from the heavens. You go from being the woman or the man who lives alone to maybe married. Things will start happening really quickly for you in your love life. It might make you scared. It might make you want to slow things down. Make sure you get rid of all of the hurt and the pain or you do the self-healing, self-work, self-care from previous relationships because the only thing I can see is maybe sabotage self-sabotage in terms of this new person this is a new person this is I haven't seen this for Aquarius in a long time <laughs> this is a new person I, I pulled several cards because I want to make sure it was a new person it's a new person very nice this could be what you prayed for make sure you're not looking at the past you're not trying to either compare um, or you're not looking at a past person and waiting for them and pining over them. And it also says maybe a past person, they'll see you with this new person and they'll start to try to penetrate your energy and try to get a second chance with you. Yeah. Aquarius do know that good things are coming in for you. I don't feel like it's tomorrow. It could be for some of you. Let me know down in the comment section. I don't feel like it is this week. I don't know, you know, um, but do know that things are resolving for you. You're going to get what you want. Wow. New starts are happening for you. Um, a level of abundance or a, a, an abundant way of living is coming in for you with the Empress card creation it's, something new is happening this could be relationship this could be business this could be anything this could be maybe you even putting your gifts out there Aquarius just be focused on planning in the short-term goals because it looks like something is 
really going to be dynamic for you. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. You can also go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two. Is this going to happen for me? What should I be doing right now? Maybe you could even inquire about a timeline. When will it happen? Um, I'll do my best to pull cards and make, you know, give you a timeline. Um, Aquarius, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come for a collective reading, and then you can ask questions, okay? Aquarius, you can text questions to the number below. Pay for your questions all on your mobile device. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.